All right, so I was talking last time about, about um, preferences and, and what happens when you have a quality dimension. And I think with a, we only did one example, I think, right? We did all firms were the same. So this was C of Q, which is the cost function to the firms of producing a unit of quality Q. And then we said, well, if you had different consumers, those different consumers might sort out along that cost function, right? That would be the case. And then you might observe different qualities in equilibrium with corresponding difference, different prices. Now, if we were to say, OK, well, that's two different consumer types in one type of firm. Then you might say, well, what if we changed the problem and had two types of firms and one type of consumer? So you might call this C1 of Q. And this one would be C2 of Q. And then if we assume that there was free entry of both types of firms, that it was enough firms of both types to serve consumers, then what would the equilibrium look like? What would the equilibrium look like? We assume all consumers are the same. There's tons of potential firms of type 1 and tons of potential firms of type 2. What would the equilibrium look like? Yeah. Would we see more than one point? No, there's only one kind of consumer. Remember, this was two kinds of consumer, one kind of firm. We got this picture with two points. Call this UA. This is UB. There are two types of consumers, A and B, one type of firm. Yeah, unless it's a knife edge situation, right, we would end up with You know, maybe that one, maybe it would be tangent here, I don't know. We would end up with a single point. There's no reason we would have to end up with an equilibrium in which people are buying from both types of firms, right? That is, profits would be driven to zero, and whichever firm could satisfy consumers' needs at the least cost would be the one that would survive. It's kind of like when I did that thing last time. You'd, like, minimize cost per unit quality, right? You'd just be finding the most efficient producer of quality. And from these consumers' perspective, they would all choose the same firm. And the reason is we have free entry of both types. There's no reason. Why didn't we get that over here? Why didn't this degenerate to one point? Because we didn't have free entry of consumers, right? Consumer, we just had consumers of both types. It wasn't like the consumers could choose which type they were and then choose the one that gave them the most utility. If you did that, then they would choose one of type or the other. There's no reason people would choose different types. So that's the big difference. Often when we think of firms, we think about free entry. And when, when we think about consumers, we don't. Right? We don't think about there being free entry of consumers. If this was a world in which people could freely migrate, you might think of free entry of consumers. You might say, look, consumers are only going to come in at, to 